leave you today without talking about LeBron James, who is going back to Cleveland, um, and also the Republicans are going to go there for their convention. So I want to get your all's take on what was the hugest story of the week, really. Yeah. Sp speaking about LeBron, <laughs> one thing that really struck me was part of the reason he cited for coming back to Cleveland was coming back to a community to help that community grow and develop. In El Paso, we just got a AAA franchise, the El Paso Chihuahuas. And I've seen what that's done for our town to have that level of professionalism and athletics that unifies and brings a community together. So really admire his decision and why he made it. Yeah, which is different than the way he left, you're telling me. Yeah. Well, LeBron's comments were very classy and, and well, well done. Well, Props it's, it's just about um, being able to go back home and have that home embrace you in the same way that you embrace them and raise your family uh, there. But also, I think Cleveland hopes they're going to bring a championship uh, yeah. to, to Cleveland. Well, and he pointed out that he appreciates his roots and his upbringing, and he wants to share that with his family and to give back. And in my family, we were raised that you give back more than you take. And I kind of saw that in his comments that he made, uh, it, uh, very mature. Well, I'm a basketball fan, and so I saw it because I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, to seeing him really win a championship for that team, the same way that he did uh, for Miami. And this is, real, this is actually really important to the fiber of the community. And so you could see the same folks who had burned the LeBron jerseys when he left. They're going out to buy the new one. And yeah. let me, I've got less than a minute left, so them. I have the, this yeah. is our pleasure question of the week. So if um, the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers make the playoffs and they have a game in Cleveland in June, June on the same day that Republicans hold their convention, what will the city decide? It will be an exciting time to be in Cleveland. And uh, I don't think anything could be more logistically complicated than a convention in Tampa, which we went through. <laughs> but you and did if you were down there, you know it was And you know, then what you will see is the entire conversation of Cleveland will be about victory. And the GOP, the Growth and Opportunity Party, it will be a perfect time for them to be in well, Cleveland. I'll, I'll, I'll be I'm watching gonna, the basketball game. I think right. so too. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's exactly. I'm with you. That's <laughs> right. I want to thank all you for being here, uh, Congresswoman Blackburn, Congresswoman Edwards, Congressman O'Rourke, uh, Congressman Schock, thanks. thanks. We'll be right back.